What's up, everybody? And today we are checking out what new female Marine Corps recruits go through in boot camp. This is by USA Military Channel. I will leave a link down below to the original video. If you don't want to hear me waffling over the top of it, you can go over there, check that out. I wanted to watch this video because obviously I was in the British Royal Marines Commandos, right? I have my Green Beret. I was in the Royal Marines Commandos. And in the Royal Marines Commandos, there's no women. There's no women. They've started to let people try, let women try. Uh, but I don't think anyone's successful yet. There are some women who successfully did the all arms course, which is if you are in the RAF or the Navy or the Army, you can try and earn your Green Beret by doing the last part of training the commando course, all right? But you're not a Royal Marine. You would be an Army commando, right? In fact, I think there's some US military personnel that have done it as well, which is very interesting. Um, and so I want to see what, U.S. Marine Corps training is like for females. We've seen what it's like for males. We've seen all like the usual stuff, right? We've watched plenty of videos on that, but this is going to be different. If you want to watch it without me waffling over the top, description down below, check it out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Helps with that mysterious YouTube algorithm. Let's watch this. Let's learn some stuff. U.S. Marine Corps boot camp, Paris Island. All right. <clears throat> so just let me actually, before we get started, they obviously go through a different training, which is very interesting because in my opinion, everyone should be up to the same standard. And for everyone to be up, the, up to the same standard, they should all do the same training. So I'm wondering what's different there. Not much chatter just now. Let me turn subbies on. She getting prepped for new recruits to shout at them. Interesting. What's she saying? It's very quiet. That means every single one of you are moving as, as you are saying that. Do we understand? Yes, Your volume isn't telling me that you understand. It's about to tick me off again. Scream. Yes, okay, tell you what? Alignment to the. You're not screaming. Hey, you, you're not screaming. You're about to make me run. Say what? Alignment to the. Right hand. Alignment to the. Right hand. What is she saying? I don't know what she's saying there. If I'm honest with you. Okay, so she's coming out. She's doing the waffling. Um, she's screaming at um, um, which you know we get that version in the mail side of US Marine Corps anyway. Um, whether you find it intimidating or not, I don't really give a shit. I think it would have the same effects on the people that she's doing it to, right? Um, yeah, let's see where it goes. Stop! Is this more like Stop! a fitness thing? You don't want to scream again? Stop! You're not screaming again. Your volume's about to tick me off. Stop! Scream for your life! You're not screaming yet! Run back that way! Sit up straight and look at me! She, she looked like she was struggling to scream at him, to be fair, though, didn't she? Okay, we watched a video on Friday that it was very similar to this. I wonder if this is going to be the same speech the, the, the guy gave to the male recruits. Yeah, it's and the same speech. From you. My drone structures and I will be with you. Every day, everywhere you go. Yeah, it's the same Obey speech. All is quickly, willingly, and without question. Respect the rights and properties of others. Emory never steals. Above all else, never quit or give up. Oh, you want to hit me with the weapon? No, man. <laughs> She nearly hit with a weapon that you imagine. <laughs> Watch that again. That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny that she did nearly hit her. Oh, you want to hit me with the weapon? No, man. You want to hit me with the weapon? No, man. You want to hit me with the weapon? All right, no, man. I'm just speaking for him. I'm just speaking for him. 
it, it, it makes no sense because the staff are struggling. Like, and I've seen, I'm not saying this is just the women's one as well. I've seen this in the males one, male uh, training as well. The guys training as well. It gets to a point where the instructors are struggling to scream. Now, in my opinion, if she did that, what would be more effective? Them struggling to scream at this, this recruit. And let's take the gender. I don't give a fuck about the gender right now. Let's take that out of it. Male or female. What would be more effective? Them being like, oh my God. Or would it be, are you fucking serious right now? Put that gun down right now. Get on the fucking floor. Get in the press up position. You can stand by. I'll be right back to deal with you. And then go and see everyone over recruit. They're still in this press up position, hanging out the hoop, struggling. And then you come back and you're like, all right, you fucking come with me. And then you make them do like 20 cam circuits. Do you know what I mean? What's more, what's more um, beneficial to the recruit? If you turn around and say, you just nearly fucking hit me with that weapon. Stand by. And then in the middle of the night, they get dragged out of bed and they have to do 20 cab circuits. Oh, remember that time you nearly hit me with the weapon? Go and do 20 cab circuits. 2 a.m. in the rain, crying. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's a little bit of difference here. It's screaming. Is it really that effective? I don't know. I've had I've had US Marines uh, in the comment section saying, you know, it is effective. And I get it, right? Like, I came from a different culture. Like, it's just different for me than it is for someone else. Um, and I think that it's just, it's so interesting to see these two different styles of training, you know? It's very interesting. Oh, and that's exactly how I told you to go down, right? That's exactly how I told you to go down. Here we go. Let's see some actual training. This one's struggling. Struggling. Let's turn this down a bit. Okay, moving, moving. They've got the webbing on. They've got helmets on. They've got all the gear. Okay. So they're actually doing a bit of hand-to-hand -hand here, which is nice to see. You don't, you know, I've tried watching so many different training videos in the U.S. Marines, and we haven't seen in-depth stuff here, so I'm happy to see this. All right, you're not giving her an og. Grab a neck. Interesting. Okay, they're doing some rope work here, which is something that we do a lot of in the Royal Marines. We do regains and all that good stuff. Very, very uh, cool skill to have. Although it's mostly about being disciplined, learning techniques under pressure, um, and having a bit of strength at the same time. Um, obviously, rope stuff isn't as big of a deal as it used to be. The ropes were used for many different things, like getting on and off ships and stuff like that. It's not the same anymore. Obviously, we do fast roping and all that lot, but it's just not the same. But it is an effective way of training. So let's look at that. Regain. We get on top of the rope as well. Nice. Get up there. Oh, she ain't getting up. Nice. <laughs> All right, we're seeing some tactical stuff here as well, which is very interesting, actually. Now, the reason they didn't have female role marines for a long time is they were worried about um relationships happening and and biases happening between people when they get into um combat which obviously we can get into that side of it on how that's not really effective because there, if there was two gay soldiers then they would also have that kind of bias over someone else we're not going to get into that but what i am going to try and ask a question if anyone has the information of is when these female recruits pass out a training do they get put into the same troops as, as lads 
or do they specifically have female U.S. Marine troops and they stay separate? That's what I'm interested in. Massive. Why have they got the gloves on for? What have they got the gloves on for? Oh, sweet! Moving! She's so tired. You see her? She's like, moving. <laughs> I don't understand why they got the gloves on. Oh, they're going to do a bit of fighting? They're going to get a bit of fighting in? Throw some fists. Let's see. Oh, let's go. That other one collapsed like a bag of potatoes, didn't she? There's nothing in her. Get up. This guy's like, get up. Interesting. So there is a male instructor here. Um, I wonder if it is just PT or whether there are some crossover here. What's up, buddy? Wait. Come on, go, go. Take a step. Take, take a step. Get her, get her, Tom. Let's find a step. 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 Bit of aggression there, which is nice to see. Like, if, a, if an instructor has to pull one off the other, then it's nice to see that there is a little bit of an aggression there. You know what I mean? That whistle's loud as shit, though, isn't it? I'd just blow the whistle and be like, lads, I, girls, I said stop. They're still going at it. All right, well, crack on. I'll see you tonight. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Have fun. <laughs> All right, some respirator drills. Important stuff to do, you know, making sure that your respirators work. I don't know whether they do it here. Yeah, it looks like they do. Um, we get taught to, we go in, we do the drills, right? And then they're like, well, you also need to know if it's ineffective. So they make you take your mask off and they make you, you know, for me it was Corporal IM 30065946, Marine, as if I still remember all this. Corporal IM 30065946, Marine drillings, uh, recruit drillings, uh, permission to leave the chamber and they'll let you get out. But by the time you get up to like Corporal IM, you've taken a massive breath in of pepper spray or whatever it is they burn in there. It's absolutely horrific. And you've got every bit of, liquid coming out of every orifice. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You're like... <laughs> the coughing, so it sounds like they probably do something similar. <laughs> well, why she got her helmet on tilt back so much? Look at that. Her helmet's hanging off the back of her head. This one right here. And this one's too far forward. Come on, sort your gear out. And a chin strap's not over a chin. It's nice to see a video where they're showing some tactics, though. Hold up anymore, my fingers. Just hold it like that. effective that screaming is i just don't know how effective it is i don't know how effective it is 
maybe when you're in the moment, it is different, you know? Go on, mate. Oh, a bit of drill as well. This video's great. We've seen a bit of all sorts here, aren't we? A bit of drill. Bit of drill. Nice. I used to hate drill. I hated drill so much. Because I was only young. I was uh, 16, 17 near the end. And I, you'd have to shave every single time. And even if you got just a little bit of a hair coming out, oh my God, they'd make you do circuits. And so you get your turn up and you've basically like torn your face to shreds. Do you know what I mean? And then you, especially in the summer, if it was the summer, I didn't get, I wasn't too worried about if it was cold, but in the summer, if you're trying to do drill and you're sweating your tits off, oh, it's just not a vibe. Not a vibe. I prefer the getting dirty and getting out and doing stuff, you know? All right, put your sword away. What are you waiting for? Oh! I wonder, do some of the women shave their head? Is that an acceptable... No, I don't. I think it was just because they're all pulled back so tight, but I don't... Oh! Well, this person's got short hair right here. Looks like they haven't got a bun on the back. I wonder if they're allowed to shave their head. Right up. Right up. Right up. Right up. Right up. Right. Interesting. Is this the end of it? Oh, is this them getting the... Is this them passing out of training? She looks like she's struggling. Yeah, them getting the cat badge. Must be at the end of an exercise. Interesting. It's, an honor. it's a very special moment for him. Probably very emotional. Looks like they've just done some sort of test or something. So for them to get it is probably even more emotional. It's like when you, when you do your commando test in the Royal Marines. When you do the 30 miler... Um, you get your green lid after it and you get your handshake and it's in a very like it's a very emotional more you just finished 30 miles of running you get over that humpback bridge i remember you do it over in like sections and i remember getting over the bridge and the the section that started before was was already there obviously and they you know you're in five minute intervals so they've only just got there and i look at me mate and his bottom lips wobbling a bit like <laughs> done, finally done training the 32 weeks he's done you've got your green lid I remember being like, <laughs> getting that bottom whip, bottom lip wobbling. And then I was fine. And we, we did the ceremony, get our green lids, we get on the bus. And then you're able to pop out your phone and give, you know, your mama, dad a bell, give him a ring. And I remember calling me dad. He just picks up and he knows I've got the 30 miler that day. He just picks up and I'm like, dad, I've done it. Done it. Royal Marine training, done. That was it. Dad's crying. Proud of you, son. I'm crying. Call up me, mom. She's at work. Mum, it's done. I'm a Royal Marines commando. She's crying at work. <laughs> so it's a very special moment. And then you do a week of drill and do your pass out parade. That was a really good video. I'm very impressed with that video. Uh, there wasn't as much like dialogue over the top of it. We had to kind of decipher what's going on ourselves. But it was definitely like um, stages through boot camp. Wasn't it? it was like the start all the way through training, doing um, drills, and then eventually getting their, um, was it Globe and Anchor? Is that what they call it? As is Globe and Laurels, isn't it? Uh, Globe and Anchor. Um, a great video. Really enjoyed that video. Um, I, I want to watch a documentary. I want to watch, you got any recommendations for like US Marine documentaries for training? Let me know in the comments, all right? But yeah, great video. There'll be a link down below if you want to watch it without me waffling over the top of it. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Helps with that mysterious YouTube algorithm. Other than that, I love you all. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.